I'm Erin and welcome to the show. Actually, I think I should say congratulations because you couldn't have picked a better time to come to Walt Disney World Resort. Did you know that this year Disney is celebrating 50 years of theme park magic? From Disneyland where it all began to Disney theme parks around the world. Can you believe it? And to mark this monumental occasion, they are pulling out all the stops. It's called the happiest celebration on earth and it is quite aptly named. Disney theme parks around the world are kicking it up a notch for this occasion. And here at Walt Disney World in Florida, it is certainly no exception. What they're doing is incredible. They're bringing new attractions from Disney theme parks around the world and setting them up here at the four Walt Disney World theme parks in Florida. For example, there's a radical new stunt show from Paris a great new stage show from Tokyo, and a huge new attraction from Disneyland in California. Plus, all the great new and classic stuff that's already here. It is going to be literally the most phenomenal celebration on the planet. In fact, it's going to be so big and so fun, yes, you'll want to take a week to do it all. And just in time for the happiest celebration on Earth, starting in May 2005, is the happiest, or should I say, an easy and affordable way to do it all. Magic Your Way Vacation lets you put together the Walt Disney World vacation you want, on the budget you want. It's flexible, it's affordable, it's magical. Magic Your Way Vacations are new and they're amazing. Find out all about them when you watch the planning special feature on this DVD. The whole thing couldn't be easier, and we'll show you how to do it. Also, we'll show you why staying at a Disney resort is the best and most relaxing way to enjoy your vacation. So be on the lookout for some extra special benefits you get as a guest in a Disney resort. Okay, okay, we can get on with the show now. Okay, before we move on, I want to introduce you to some people. We are specialists. We're pros. We're all experts, if you will. I spit right on the camera. Mm. Oh, I blew it. Burr, 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 burr. And that being said, I present to you the ambassador of adrenaline, Dr. Double Scoop of G-Force and Inversion himself. Meet Luke. He is our thrill specialist. Yeah. So, Going out. And, and this is Stacy. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. She's our mom extraordinaire. And oh, those of you with little ones are going to love her. She's going to show you how to see the magic of Walt Disney World through a child's eyes. Well, thank you very much, Alan. You are very welcome to Stacy. And then finally, there's Dave. Hey, guys. Hey, Dave. Mm. Oh. Dave, uh, what is it you're an expert at again? Well, I, uh... I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> no, Dave is our recreation and relaxation expert. He's going to show you how to chill at Walt Disney World. And then there's me. I'm Erin, and I'm sort of your happiest celebration on Earth expert. Remember that big party I was telling you about earlier? As well as your big group specialist, because there are a lot of great ways for groups of friends and family to do Disney, and I'm going to show it to you. All right, so are you guys ready to get out there and yeah. start them off in the Magic Kingdom Park? Right. Let's you. do it. You guys, go do what you do. All right. I'll go do what I do. And Dave, yeah. go do whatever it is you do or don't do. Okay, okay let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> What's happening, Goof? Oh. Moving on. You have so much style, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome officially to the Magic Kingdom Park. And if you don't have your own family, you can adopt one, anyone. It's the place where absolute fantasy reigns. The place where Disney characters come to life, elephants fly, princesses are real, and pirates playfully pillage. The Curse of the Black Pearl. Arr. It's the place you might call the heart of the Disney experience. And as far as the happiest celebration on Earth is concerned, 
It's the place where the magical festivities have only just begun. Okay, I'm sorry, do you mind taking a picture? Sure. Do you mind? Oh, that'd be great. Um, Take a picture? You got a camera? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you my email address and you can email it to me. Introducing Cinderella Bration, inspired by Tokyo Disneyland Park and brought in just for the big soiree. Cinderella arrives in grand style with Prince Charming, and then this fantastic coronation pageant takes you to that magical moment when Cinderella herself becomes a princess. It's definitely, definitely on my list for large groups. So, uh, I've got a date with a mischievous little alien. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I hope. Ah, now this is a good bench. They're not just decorations, they're for relaxation. So don't go too crazy in the park. When you see a bench, sit down, enjoy it. it comes with the price of admission. Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so Magic Kingdom, some definite must-dos here. Ripple Mountain trifecta, boys and girls. Let's get it on. Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And there's a couple angles I like to play. In the world of relaxation, <laughs> this is a thrill ride. Up, down, that's all you need in a ride, really. Here. One way to keep it moving is called Disney's Fast Pass. Me un favorito. Check this out. You roll up to the Fast Pass kiosk, throw your ticket in, and boom, boom, it kicks back your ride time. Then you just come back to the ride at that time, go straight to the Fast Pass entrance, and giddy up. You hop right on with little or no way. Pretty sweet little invention. Let's hit it. Story drop. Cinco. We're in Fantasyland. The Magic Kingdom. What a great place for kids of any age. I mean, where else can you catch a ride on a flying elephant like Dumbo? Or douse yourself with pixie dust and take a fantasy voyage to Neverland? Or how about taking that legendary boat ride around the globe on the musical tour of nations on It's a Small World? And oh, the Barnstormer at Goofy's Wiseacre Farm is a blast for your little ones. Do you mind taking a photo? Get that in the background. Who's got a camera? Has anyone got a camera? Beautiful, beautiful. Sir, you mind taking our picture? You're in the photo. You're in. You're in. Where are you from, Stuart? England. England? <laughs> Get in there. Can you please take our photo? Your shirt says happy. What, what, what are you celebrating? Birthday. Come on, you're in the photo. You know how that works? No, then you get in the photo and I'll get someone else to take the picture. You're Irish? Yeah. Get in the photo. You're in the photo. One, two, three. Disney! Disney! So characters, I bet you guys want to know about characters, right? Of course. And the Magic Kingdom Park is loaded with them for sure. And a great spot for catching up with these guys is the judge's tent at Mickey's Toontown Fair. I've been waiting for this all day, come on! There's so many amazing things for preschoolers at the Magic Kingdom Park. to just share a few of my favorites. I'll see you guys a bit later. Bye. Adventureland. This is my bongo dance. <laughs> a little bonus bench. Double armrest. I'm on an adventure. My name's Dave. I'm gonna be your host for the Jungle Cruise. Don't refer to this as a boat. I'd like it referred to as a floating bench. Brand new to the Magic Kingdom Park is Stitch's Great Escape, your favorite alien from the Disney animated movie Lilo and Stitch. See, see, Stitch is taking over the Magic Kingdom, you little troublemaker. It's not the nice, lovable Stitch we all knew down on Earth either, uh-uh. It's the naughty, spitting, burping, boogery, mischievous, experiment 626 version of Stitch. And he's on the loose, and it's your job to watch him. 
Sorry about that. The technology is amazing. You feel like Stitch is behind you, on top of you, playing with your hair. Definitely keeps you on your toes. Look me, I got my eye on you. Woo! Mickey's Philhar Magic. Really cool. This is Mickey's Philhar Magic, and your whole group is gonna love it. Inside those doors is one of the most amazing new attractions to the Magic Kingdom. And I'm talking Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and a cacophony of other Disney characters animated in a 3D realm for the first time ever. And to top it off, you are gonna see it on the largest seamless projection screen in the world. It is a rollicking, frolicking 3D symphony of surprises, and you're gonna love it. Your job is Check every bench in the park. You checked it. It's ready for me. Ready. Bless you, gentlemen. I'm Erin, your ghost host. 999 happy haunts, but always room for one more. Tomorrowland. Look out! Okay, so that's the Magic Kingdom Park by day. But when the sun sets, something pretty amazing happens. Actually, two amazing things. The first is a Wishes. And Wishes is the most incredible, biggest, gargantuan, big daddy fireworks show in Disney history. It's like a big orchestra in the sky. It's all set to classic Disney music, and it all happens right here at the Magic Kingdom Park. Okay, so the other pretty amazing thing I was talking about, it's called Extra Magic Hours Benefit. And it goes like this. When you stay at a Disney resort, you get all kinds of great extras. One of the great extras is extra time in the parks. The park closes, but you get to stay in the park for select attractions. And the same thing happens in the morning. Basically, each day, one of the four Disney theme parks opens an hour early or stays open up to an extra three hours in the evening. So when you stay at a Disney resort, relax. There's no need to rush. Look out, Minnie, I am moving in. Magic carpet time. Let's see, Rocco. I love these fish. Welcome to Epcot. Okay, so I said this year was the year of all years to come, right? And I meant it. The happiest celebration on Earth is also alive and well here at Epcot. So what they do here? Well, Epcot is the proud new owner of the new ride from Disney's California Adventure Park, Soarin'. And unless you have glided across the entire state of California on a hang glider before, you are in for one heck of a ride. The Golden Gate Bridge, Yosemite, the cliffs, the ocean. It's amazing. If we're going to stop and shop in every place we see, <laughs> we're just going to do the Eiffel Tower. I thought we were going to do that. We, you know? oh, of course we're going to shop. We're in Paris. It's just if I knew that. Land or space? Space. I picked this little ditty up in space. Hey, I'm just kicking a little butt on Mars. This is pretty sweet. It's the advanced training lab at Mission Space, and it's also a good spot to come if you wimp out. Wimp out on what? Mission Space. Oh, yes. Here we go! Check it out, gravity wheel. Gravity, we don't need no stinking gravity. It's getting crazy. Mission completed, soldiers. Bonjour. Hi. I'm in France. No, you said France. <laughs> Italy it is. I'll see you in Italy in 20 minutes. Garçon, check, please. Wow. OK. What's here at Epcot for the little guys? All kinds of stuff. Like this place, the living seas. Now that's an eel. 
a great way to introduce your kids to the ocean and its creatures. There are literally thousands of fish and creatures in here to spark wonder. And bonus, this is also where you might find Nemo. You know, the little guy inspired by Walt Disney Pictures' presentation of the Pixar Animation Studios film Finding Nemo. And the new interactive show Turtle Talk featuring Crush, which is unbelievable. Toronto. Italy. No, we said Italy. Okay. China, five minutes. You got it. Here's another great thing at Epcot. They're called Kitcot Fun Stops, and they're all over World Showcase. Wow, those are cool. Just stop in with your little guys in any country and let them have at it. They'll love it. All kinds of activity-filled craft areas where they can draw, write, create really cool stuff, like these crazy masks. Wow! There's always time for a funnel cake. This creates magic. I feel the need for some speed. Let's do a little test track. Born to race. Game time, baby. Man, that was a thrill, I'm telling you that much. Hi again. Okay, there are a couple more great things I want to tell you about here at Epcot. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience is a complete blast. Professor Wayne Zielinski shrinks you down and takes you on an interactive adventure that goes beyond 3D. It has amazing special effects and some terrific surprises. You will find yourself in a world where tiny creatures aren't so tiny and you feel, well, not exactly larger than life. From head to tail, he's Royal Purple Pigment, my personal favorite dragon pigment. And you can find him a journey into imagination with pigment anytime you need a little spark of inspiration. Climb aboard a train of thought in the sound lab, or use your common sense in the smell lab. In fact, you can go anywhere you can imagine on a journey into your imagination with your friend, Pigment. Sometimes in life, you gotta stop and smell the rose. <laughs> Whoa, woo! Birds included in the price of admission to the park. Hey, you guys ready? Cause here they come. The other thing you can't miss here at Epcot is Disney characters on holiday. It's an absolute treat for you little guys because all their favorite characters are up close all at once. Beautiful! Always wanted to go to Italy. Okay, so I know they've sort of been wandering around the world and sort of ruined our surprise. I wouldn't say it's, I ruined But this is a world showcase, and we're gonna hit it. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Sure, let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. How do you say bingo, bingo in French? Uh -huh. Bingo. Cheers. Cheers. It was siesta time. World Showcase at Epcot is incredible. Countries from around the world are here. Buenos dias. And now we are in Norway. Let's just take the elevator. And with them, their food. I'm sure we only get one fish and chips, so we can eat in all the other countries. OK. Their drink. Ladies. Their entertainment, their customs, and people. It's a good bit like traveling around the world, but it only takes like 
five minutes to get from, say, Morocco to Japan. And you don't need your passport. You just need your appetite and your sense of adventure. Adios. This is awesome. One of the best ways to end your day at Epcot is Illuminations Reflections of Earth. Now, this is really Disney showing off again. Over the lagoon at World Showcase, the sky lights up to an unbelievable sight. Lasers and fireworks and music come alive to bid yet another great day good night. It's literally a can't miss piece of Disney entertainment. And it's one of my favorite ways for large groups to reunite at the end of their day. Like us. You know, whether you're coming here as a couple or a family or a big group, the Walt Disney World Resort has a restaurant to fit any appetite and budget. Sushi, steak, seafood, innovative California-style cuisine, and everything in between. Disney prides itself on its restaurants, as well they should. The food is phenomenal, and the service, outstanding. When you stay at a Disney resort, you get lots of great options for eating right in your hotel. If you want to explore any other resort, no problem. Just hop on a boat, monorail, or motor coach and go anywhere on the Walt Disney World property you want. See, because if you stay in a select Walt Disney World Resort Hotel, you get all kinds of great benefits. And one of the great ones is convenient transportation all over the resort, anywhere you want to go. Just walk outside your hotel room, pop aboard, and you're there. You want to come back? Just get back on, come back for a swim, grab a bite to eat, or relax. You want to go back at night for some fireworks? No problem. Just hop on, and you are there. It's pretty simple and very cool. Welcome to the Disney Studios. It's one big playground. This is living. Let's go, dudes. Disney Studios is the place where show business takes center stage. <laughs> this place is sweet. Yeah? From Broadway style musicals and kid friendly shows to hair raising thrill rides. And of course, a big scoop of action, which is exactly what they put together at the Disney Studios for the happiest celebration on Earth. It's a little treat raced in from Disneyland Resort Paris. It's called Light Motors Action Extreme Sun Show. It's an all-out octane-fueled tire, squealing flames, bursting, motorcycles flying, cars nearly missing in your face. Action blowout sun show. And you'll even get a backstage look at how Hollywood makes it all happen. You constantly I... ruin everything that I, I want to do. I don't ruin everything for you. Do you you ruin everything. everything. Let's go ride something. All right. You want to go with us? Uh, oh, come on. Take him, honey. Well, come okay. on. I mean, come on. Let's go. You want to go? go. I loves me some thrill rides at this park. Two little lovers here, and the hurl factor just about redlines on these things, and I could back that up, too. <laughs> hey, remember my little tip? Well, this is the perfect place to play the fast pass and singles lines combo. Fast pass. Right. Do it. Primo Supremo. I just picked up my Fast Pass ticket for Rock and Roller Coaster Star in Aerosmith. And now I'm gonna go hit a little 13 story gravity bomb called the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Come on, let's go. Okay, this is it. Nice little building, right? This puppy's MO is faster than the speed of gravity. That's, that's not gonna happen. It's definitely got some hurl factor to it. It takes you 13 stories up and then drops you like a sack of potatoes with an anvil tied to it. Man, I'm getting pumped just talking about it. We're going down. Here's a little tip. Make sure you eat after the Twilight Zone Tower Terror, not before. 
sometimes. I'm dopey. Sometimes I'm bashful. Even me. <laughs> I think we look good together. The Disney Studios is probably the best place for your kids to see some of their big screen and little screen favorites in person. Like the Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Journey into a magical world of dancing fish, calypsoing crabs, and curious merfolk, including Flounder, King Triton, Sebastian, and Ursula. After that, don't forget to catch Playhouse Disney live on stage. It's a really fun show where your little guys get to sing and dance with many of their favorite characters from the Disney Channel. Like Bear in a Big Blue House, Roly Polioli, and Stanley. Oh, and speaking about your favorite Disney Channel stars, you can catch Jojo and Goliath at the Disney Studios, too. Okay, remember I got the fast pass? Well, it's for this little stomach buster right here. To complete my studio's double whammy, I like to follow up with the little rockin' roller coaster starring Aerosmith. This thing is sweet. I'm ready! Zero is 60 in 2.8 seconds. Puppy's like a slingshot on steroids, and that's just the launch. Then, three tricked out inversions and a little onboard audio cranking straight into your melon. And oh yeah, the whole thing's in the dark. Hey, uh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, hello, I'm working. Right. Okay, so as your big group specialist, I have a couple of must-dos for you here at Disney Studios. First of all, Beauty and the Beast live on stage. This is just a classic, absolute Broadway style. Also, the incredible nighttime spectacular, Fantasmic. That's where you get to see the Sorcerer Mickey battle it out with all the evil villains of Disney past including that old hothead Maleficent, who happens to be my personal favorite. Oh, oh, oh. So, when you're up for some lights, camera, and action... A little bit of Indiana. Why did it have to be snakes? Little bit of Jones. <laughs> Unless they're fake. <laughs> and then they're pretty fun. <laughs> you gotta hit Disney Studios. Okay, so finally, it's my turn to tell you about all the amazing things there are to do outside the parks. Who's ready for a little recreation Walt Disney World style? I thought so. Come on, let's go, Luke, hit it!
Extra cash. That's pretty good. Ooh. Boy, I thought I had one right there. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Ta da! <laughs> huh? Yeah! <laughs> Onward, Rick! Is that all you got? Come on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's all I got. All right, so you already know that when you're a Disney Resort guest, you get convenient transportation all over the Disney Resort, right? But what about getting to the resort? Now that's easy too. Disney has a new service available to Disney Resort guests called Disney's Magical Express, and it's a beautiful thing. When you arrive, Disney meets you at Orlando International Airport. They get you, they get your bags, and they bring you right to your resort. No more hassles at baggage claim, no more carrying your bags. They even help you check in. Then, if you want, you don't even have to go to your room. You can go right to the Disney theme parks and have at it. Then when you get back, all your stuff is in your room waiting for you. Jumbo! Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Disney's Animal Kingdom Park is the imagination of Disney gone wild. It's Africa, it's Asia, Broadway, and prehistoric encounters all waiting to discover. There's really only one thing it's not. Not a zoo. Not a zoo! Not a zoo! Get it? Not a zoo. This is the Tree of Life, and it's amazing in itself. It has over 300 animals hand-carved in its trunk. Inside the Tree of Life is a creepy crawly treat. It's tough to be a bug. It's tough to be a bug is a 3D spectacular that feels more like 4D or 5D. Hopper and Flick and a host of walking, talking insects from Walt Disney Pictures' presentation of a Pixar Animation Studios film, A Bug's Life, let you see the world through a bug's eye. And it is packed with startling in-theater effects. Now, I don't want to bug you about it, but I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. Rock, scissors, paper, you for a Coke. Loser buys, what do you think? Come on, come on, let's go, ready? <laughs> uh, lots of ice, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Check this out. When I come to Disney's Animal Kingdom, there's a couple things I gotta hit. And one of them is this, Cali River Rapids. This ride is awesome. First of all, it's in Asia, which is sweet. Second of all, it's a runaway raft through the rainforest. That's what I'm talking about. And if you're looking to cool off, this is the place to do it. It's game time, baby. You guys wanna get wet? Got it! Best two out of three. <laughs> two out of three? All right, you got it. For some popcorn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, like extra ice. Yeah. Popcorn? Yeah. Butter? Popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right back. <laughs> At Disney's Animal Kingdom, there's some great things to take your little Simbas to, like Festival of the Lion King. A Broadway-style theatrical celebration inspired by Disney's animated hit. Simba, Timon, and the whole gang will have your whole gang singing, dancing, and laughing. Then head over to the boneyard and let your little archaeologist dig up some dinosaurs. Come on, kids! <laughs> and don't forget to stick around for Mickey's Jam and Jungle Parade. It's a wild musical street party that romps right through Africa, Discovery Island, and Asia. And it starts some of your favorites, Rafiki, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Excuse me.
excuse me. Hey, little buddy. How do you get this guy to push you around? That looks pretty comfortable. Huh? Got your shade, you got your food. How'd you score that? Mickey, Mickey, if you're looking for characters, just come here. Camp Mini Mickey. It's Minnie! Hey, Buddha! Disney's Animal Kingdom tip, which happens to be one of my favorites, affection section. Here you'll help open your little one's eyes to the world around them as they interact with goats, sheep, pigs, chickens, llamas, and more. Check it out. They're building a beast back in Asia, Expedition Everest. It goes live in 2006 as part of the happiest celebration on Earth. But I can't imagine there's anything happy about this thing. Unless happy is a frozen roller coaster that rips through the Himalayas while a Yeti is tracking you down for lunch. Actually, that is kind of happy, isn't it? Expedition Everest, check it out in 2006. Ah, uh, yeah. They said I couldn't survive in the jungle. <laughs> okay, recharged. All right, for the next piece of Disney's imagination gone wild, we have to go to Africa. Well, not really, but Disney's Africa. Just head back through the village of Harambe, uh -huh, and there it is, Kilimanjaro Safari. You'll go on an expedition through the African savanna. There are lions, crocs, giraffes, elephants, hippos, cheetahs, and countless other creatures roam freely about this great land of Mother Africa, right here in Florida. Look, 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 they're crossing our path. We are that close to a giraffe. Oh, rhino, rhino alert. Gator, gator, where, where, where? Gator. Wow, that is an elephant. Why is it the dinosaurs always die running? Time for some time travel, brothers and sisters. And time for me to save the last dinosaur from extinction. Okay, this is the thing. Hurl factor, not super high, but good times indeed. So, uh, this is the life, huh? Hey, everybody! These kids have the right idea. As your relaxation host, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Downtown Disney. Shops, rock, hip-hop, it's all here, Downtown Disney. Magic Masters, check this out. Uh, they taught me this. You name it, place here, baby. You know, they call this a city of choices and a metropolis of fun. I just call it my kind of town. Let's go. West Side. This is everything you need to have a good time all in one place. Downtown Disney is loaded with over 70 unique shops and restaurants. A lot of them are one of a kind, and some of them are some pretty big names you're gonna recognize right off the bat. It's adult time, let's go. You gotta love a sign that just says club. That's, uh, that's where I'm headed. And when you're ready to dance the night away, head to Pleasure Island, a bunch of great clubs all in one spot. The perfect spot for shaking your change maker to the wee hours of the night. Uh, here's to, uh, oh, I don't know, me? <laughs> it's New Year's Eve every single night! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh! Okay, 
So here's a place I gotta call out. Disney Quest Indoor Interactive Theme Park. There the pirates on this. It's got the latest video games, got simulators, all the stuff that Luke's into. But uh, in my day, I played a mean pinball. So I told him we hit it together. Let's roll. We're going down, Dave. It is my bench. Back off. My bench. Well, that's my bench, Dave. Going down right now. Oh, you want a piece of me? Whoa! Kids, they don't know how to drive. You're pushing me. You're pushing me. Yeah, you can even design your own roller coaster. Make it a walk in the park or a nightmare on rails. And then ride it. Let's go. Five, baby. Dave, let's go, oh, dude. It's uh, pretty tame, though, right? Wow, oh, it's fine. All right, man. Blast off. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Normally, uh, they start slow with the chain. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah! This is so wild! Luke, you lied, man! <laughs> that was on the hook. No, it's off the hook. Off? It's off the hook? Off the hook. Oh. Okay, so here's something people never expect to see when they come to Orlando, a Cirque du Soleil show. This one's called La Nuba, and it's absolutely one of the coolest, most amazing things you'll ever see. Oh, and all the Cirque du Soleil shows, they're different, so they all have different names. And La Nuba is exclusive to the Walt Disney World Resort, so if you're down here, you really won't want to miss it. I told you there was another side to Disney. <laughs> Slather on some sunscreen and whip out your sunglasses. Because it is on at the Disney water park. Yes! Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Oh, this is a quiet ride, sorry. I am going to show you how to chill. And I am going to show you how to thrill at two of the most imaginative water playgrounds in the universe. Let's hit it. Come on, yo! Going down. These are my kind of people. That's a ride, baby. You can see me run. <laughs> I still got it. Welcome to the perfect storm. Disney Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. Typhoon Lagoon, Big Lake Bay, is a big old haunted way for us. Water here at Typhoon Lagoon that's uh, a little more my speed. The Lazy River. <laughs> the next thing you gotta check out at Typhoon Lagoon is Shark Reef. I wonder why they call it that. Actually, sharks are all that's down here. Stingrays, corals, tons of gorgeous fish. It's pretty amazing. There's a stingray! That is 
is the closest I've been to sharks ever in my life. And I wasn't scared. <laughs> Welcome to the one and only ski resort on the Meltdown, Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. Yeah! If you're looking for the extreme in water park rides, then this is it! Woo! Woo, 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 woo. 120 feet up off the deck of Blizzard Beach is a little water-powered wedge machine called Summit Plummet. It's all good, baby. It's, it's all good. It's just you and what's left of your bathing suit doing 55 miles per hour straight down the chute, brother. Oh. Hammock must find hammock. Let's get it on. Yo, it's game time, baby! No! 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 Water parks, <laughs> they're incredible. Hey, you want to add them into your ticket? No sweat. It's called the Magic Plus Pack option. Add it to a Magic Your Way Pass, and not only are the water parks included, but that little gem will also get you into Pleasure Island, Disney Quest, Indoor Interactive Theme Park, and more. So go ahead, add it on. I did. as much fun at the happiest celebration on Earth as we had showing it to you. We're sure you will. With all the new attractions in every park and the celebration, this is the year of all years to come. Hey, don't forget to check out the special features on the DVD. They'll really help you plan your week. Yeah, and just a reminder, there's tons more stuff on all the resorts under special features on this DVD and on the CD-ROM, so look for that. And to learn more about the Magic Your Way vacations and passes, take a look at the planning special feature on the DVD as well as the CD-ROM. You'll see how incredibly easy it is to plan. In fact, six nights and seven days for a family of four at a Disney Value Resort with theme park tickets is less than $1,500 you can put together an affordable vacation that'll fit your needs and your budget. Check it out. And there's a whole lot more of us doing our thing and the special features too. Hey, anybody gonna be out on the West Coast? Make sure you check out our special feature on Disneyland. So we hope to see you all really soon. And until then, goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Easy, dude. Thank you. I'm, I'm hitting Space Mountain. Oh, I'm so getting an ice cream. Go, oh, oh, go oh, for oh, it. Oh, oh. Go for it.